back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you didn't already know, and today we are here in my non-white marble kitchen. Hey, Shelby is with me behind the camera. <laughs> you can say hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> so the reason why we're in my kitchen is because I'm going to be testing Pinterest DIY snacks for Halloween. I was originally just going to do like, oh, DIY Halloween treats. But, you know, I wanted to test them because I'm not a chef. So Okay, so... I have the recipes here on Pinterest. <laughs> so the first treat we're gonna do is a Halloween Harvest Chex Mix, like snack mix, what's it called? Trail mix, like a trail mix with a bunch of different stuff in it. And that one takes the longest, so that's why we're doing it first and then we can do all the other ones while we have that one's cooking, if that makes sense. Yes. For our Harvest Mix, we are going to need it was supposed to be rice Chex Mix cereal, but I didn't get that. I didn't read that correctly, so that's okay. Bugles, I ate some of them. <laughs> I also ate some of them. And then Reese's candy corn, my favorite. I told my mother to get Reese's pieces. I need a Reese's peanut butter cup, so we're gonna work with it. I need to preheat the oven to 275. Oh, that's 270. Oh, shoot. Wait. While I'm doing that, I have to melt butter in a microwave. So let's do that. Let's hope. How much butter? I have to see. Three fourths cup of butter. Oh shoot. All right. I need a measuring cup. All right. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna melt. So I'm just gonna. Thirty seconds? A minute? Yeah. Yeah, to what, 30 seconds or a minute? <laughs> oh, 30 seconds, we'll start with that, we'll see what happens. Oh, the oven is preheated. I need brown sugar and vanilla extract to be added to the butter. Oh, that's our butter. Is it melted? That didn't. That's disgusting. I'm so unprofessional. Ooh, I think this is enough. This is really disgusting. Brown sugar and vanilla extract in the fridge. <laughs> <I'm> like, <gasps> vanilla extract and then brown sugar, and now we need one, <laughs> one fourth cup. This is not a liquid measure. Oh, it's for brown sugar. Okay. We need three fourths a cup of brown sugar. So look at these, they're so quick. Pop it right out. Hold on, let's not spill today, Sarah, please. That's a lot of calories. <laughs> that is not gonna fit in there. You need a bigger bowl. We're making it. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this looks really disgusting. Oh. I feel like we did something wrong. <laughs> this is what it says to do. And then two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I don't think it's open. <laughs> I really hope it turns out good. <laughs> there was a cap on the cap. Of course. It's all right. Two tablespoons. Just follow the directions. Whisk well until combined and dissolved. Okay, now it's looking better. Oh, it says one box. We put the whole bag in. Wow. The bugles. One bag. I ate some of it, so it's not going to be a complete bag. But that's okay. <laughs> I like this. Delicious. Now I have to pour the sauce gently, but first. I'm gonna mix, just mix it, but the hands is the right way. I walk, you me don't worry people. Okay. So now Shelby, will you pour it on top while I stir? Yes. Is it mixed? Is this where you're going? Possibly, come around. Okay. Come here. Go. We need a lot of stuff. Just around. Yeah. Thank you. It says, until evenly coated. How do you know when it's evenly coated? Look at mine getting the bottom. I know, I don't want to spill. It's such a big bowl. I'm gonna put this part in fast lotion. And go! We're trying to be Liza. <laughs> I 
Okay, so next what I have to do is I have to get, it says two pans and line them with parchment paper, but I don't know if like, I'm gonna need two, so we're gonna get one for now. Leia, you wanna say hello? Look, this muffin is sniffing around for food. Now I just need to get the parchment paper. I'm gonna cover that. That looks good. But I really hope I don't drop this right now. It smells good. So this has to cook for 45 minutes. I'm doing a candy corn jello and I'm gonna need two cups. Ow, that really hurt, okay. <laughs> but I really do need two cups, oh my. Can you help me? <laughs> Place yellow gelatin in a bowl. What? Can I just put in there? Yellow, this big thing, and orange. What is this? <laughs> I'm sure I'm starting with the orange to see how much yellow I needed. And now I'm gonna do the orange. Really similar. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna mix the yellow in here and just put food coloring to make it orange. Yeah, sound good? Mm -hmm. These smell so strong. Dissolve. We're just gonna mix. Okay. Ooh, that is real thick. Maybe I need more liquid in this one. Probably need. That was thick. Did you guys see that? All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. Mixing way easier. You just had to add more water. I'm supposed to freeze this in the fridge and then put that on freeze top. Freeze it in the fridge? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can't open the freezer. Oh no. For my last DIY food thing that I'm making is a drink. And I think this should be pretty easy because it's literally Shirley Temple, but it's bloody Shirley Temple, so. You need Sprite. I don't even know how to pronounce this. I just thought it was cherry juice. Yeah, Maraschino cherry. Duh, but you need the juice. I don't know what it's called. And you need like a little syringe. I can't do it! <laughs> it won't open! <laughs> you can't do it. Thank you. Yeah, like you were <laughs> Like watch, I'm just like, no, I'm gonna get a paper towel out and make it listen. Thank you. Dad! Sure, it shows it has a stuff inside like this, but I hope it doesn't like leak out. Oh, it smells so good. This is a fail! I don't understand. We're gonna do this again because I feel really stupid. That was so dumb of me. You know, it's late. I had school today. I'm gonna use all the excuses I can to come up with a reason why I didn't know what I was doing. You get the cherry juice. You get this. You stick it in and you suck it up. Damn. That's your bloody Shirley Temple. This is a genius idea. 10 out of 10 recommend if you're having a party to do this. So I took the yellow jello out. It's completely solid now and this does look like alcohol. Yes it does, I know, but it's not. I'm gonna get the orange one now. I just have to pour this on top and it should not blend because it's already hard. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, so now I have to put this back in the freezer and let it set again. And by the time, I'm hoping by the time this is done, this should be done. So, we'll see. I was supposed to stir it every 15 minutes, but you know I didn't because I was doing other things. But it looks good. Like, it doesn't look burnt. It looks, like, nice and crispy. So, I think, let me see. I'm pretty sure this is going to have to cool before I do anything else. So now it's cold for like a little while. I'm gonna try to pour this in this bowl again. I'm scared I'm gonna burn myself. Ah! Okay, 
Okay, so now that I poured it in here, it's still really hot. So we're gonna like half it and half it up, like cut it in half, like take some out and then put the Reese's that we chopped up in the middle and then some on top so it's like chocolate everywhere. And then we'll do the same with the candy corn. So now we put some out, we're gonna sprinkle some on in the middle. I feel like it's not gonna sprinkle, so we're just gonna put them in. I wore this sweater for you guys to be really festive, but it's hot. It's like 92 here in LA, California, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back on top. It didn't say to do this on the instructions, but I'm DIYing the DIY. The rest on top. That looks really good. It came out in chunks so of, it just doesn't wanna separate. And then I feel like if I just mix it, it'll be like, okay. Ooh, the chocolate's melty. Yeah, really good. So now it is completely frozen and it looks so cool. I'm so excited. I need whipped cream. Here we go. And we're gonna add a candy corn on the top. So that is it for today's video. I think this actually turned out better than I expected. This took way longer than I thought. On Pinterest, it said it took like 20 minutes, but this took like 45 minutes just to be in there. Plus like the time to get it ready and stuff is probably like an hour. So I didn't expect that. This took like one second. You saw how easy that was besides my stupid mistake that I did. And this took maybe like 30 minutes and I think that it turned out well. Let's have a taste test. Shelby, come on in. I did not, I was not expecting this at all. I usually have, oh, it's, uh, cool. it's, uh, uh, it's like so, I got a little, it's so like spongy, that's really sour, just because I put a lot of powder in like water, I think it's still a little hot, it's good though, yeah, it's really good, it definitely tastes like orange, I think that's the flavor of it, it tastes yeah. wrong of orange, it tastes so good, and this whipped cream in the jello is sugar free, let's try this now, okay, this is actually look really good, it's good. I think it still needs to sit because mm -hmm. the chocolate's still like liquid. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as that like hardens on there, it'll be so good. I know. I think I think you killed it. You nailed it. Thank you. That's so good. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I love you guys so so much. I hope you have the best week ever. Bye. I love you.